Here we are with Isekai Oji san episode 7. So, yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say, let's get to the episode. Oh, we are starting with the elf. And she still has a sweater and she wears it like all the time to sleep, it seems like. Ooh. Oh, hello. <laughs> wow, so lazy. <laughs> and he isn't even knocking. He just comes in. Here we go. Give my hoodie back. Yeah, she wants to keep it. <laughs> the chain spell again? Man, he really likes it, right? Especially using it on girls, it seems like. Is she naked underneath? Okay, no, she isn't. <laughs> that would have been something. <laughs> oh no, she punches him, right? <laughs> of course she does. K.O. And she patches them up again. I mean, you undressed her <laughs> almost completely. What is it? Looks like cloak maybe a girl oh it's her dress <laughs> it looks good on her right <clears throat> i mean it, it, it wasn't all bad right it was some good stuff. Uh, I would say I would kind of like to see that, right? OG son in the dress. But on second thought, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> OG son in the dress. Man, I would really like it if the elf girl, and maybe the maybe the other girls would come to the real world, right? <clears throat> but I think that will never happen. Maybe at the end of the story, right, when everything is wrapped up. But I think before that, not really, because this show really is based on like the memories he has from the Isekai world, right? And if the elf girl and the others come to the real world. Pretty much, there's so much less content of the memories, right? Because the elf girl and everyone is here in the real world, so he doesn't really have to show memories of those. I mean, he can, he still can show those encounters, right, on certain moments, but I feel like it's not as much needed anymore, right? Because they could talk directly to the elf girl and the others, right? Hmm. But I would still like to see it, right? But maybe that is like for the end of the story, the happy end, basically, or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Wild talker. They may <laughs> gave it a name. <laughs> the super Shab shaberry. <laughs> Work? College. Okay. I think she mentioned that already, right? Like, when we met her? But that's like weeks ago. It was like episode two, which is basically like, what? Eight weeks ago or so? No, I think nine weeks ago? Oh, no, no. Seven or eight weeks ago.
<laughs> Reminds me of this one boss from Dark Souls 2 that if you are close enough to the ledge and he tries to hit you, he just slips off the ledge. <laughs> oh, really? Let's see it. Hordes of goblins. Oh, here we go, the priest. Let's go. <laughs> they attack him. <laughs> Monster goblin. Oh, oh. Now he's not only an orc, but also a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> grouped up on him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have nothing better to do, so I help you. Dude, that's really a hot. Goblin Slayer would enjoy this fight, <laughs> I guess. Man, I I wonder when we get Goblin Slayer Season 2, right? It's been so many years. I need a Season 2 of that. Cunning plan. Oh, is he trying to get them to fall down? <laughs> And they gang up on him. <laughs> For some reason. Okay. Here we go. That's the intro. That's the intro when he misses. The whole time. <laughs> <laughs> he chops off the tops of the mountains. <laughs> Dude, he's so broken. Eh, uh, no? <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. Sega Gaming. <laughs> exactly. Paper thin. <laughs> okay, they seem to get along. No hostility. I think this is like the most friendly encounters he had so far. <laughs> Oh, she knows. Oh, she saw it. What's with that smile? <laughs> no witnesses. <laughs> Oh my god. He really likes to erase memories, right? Obviously. Okay. Yeah, they are again. They attack him again because they don't remember him. Dude, it's the same again. <laughs> the same again. Mm 
<rire> Déjà vu. Right Another fake name. <rire> Right, Stabber Beast, Hedgehog, Sonic. <laughs> of course, he thinks of Sonic. He's a holy beast. He's a holy monster. He's a holy hedgehog. We can't kill him. Yeah, expectation shattered, right? <laughs> Who are you? Uh, I think he has the wrong idea how hedgehogs look like. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, really? <laughs> oh my god, what a vicious headshot. Die, beast. And he nuked it. <laughs> Guess that's what people c call overkill, right? This is not my head talk. A flame sea, <laughs> right? He never shows mercy, he always goes all out. Well, anyway, let's change the topic. Yeah, right. I want to see the hero. Supposedly, it's the girl. Uh, makes me wonder if we see her at some point. Now we have to hurry. <laughs> Can't have that. Playing without the controller, right? So we have to deliver the phone now. Yeah, this must feel so good. Man, I would love to experience that. Like being able to fly around by yourself. He can share his flying ability? Kind of like Overlord, right? Where he can give flight to others. And someone is heading on Fujimiya. Kill him. <laughs> Looks like a douche. Kill him. <laughs> oh <laughs> what the fuck What? Really? That sounds really broken if you can give others your abilities. He doesn't look like an alright guy, right? And he doesn't sound like one either. Bro, he is looking at her booba. Mm. 
Is he touching her breasts? Get him. Another another person he knows. <laughs> Sumi ne? Is Sumi Fujimiya? Ne? For Nason? Is this her brother? Who? Yes, he loves that. <laughs> oh, death. Death. Not knowing Sega, he dies. I mean, yeah, she's cute, right? You would imagine that there would be a lot of guys after her, right? But I guess she's not the girl for that stuff, right? Yeah, she actually, she could have with the magic. <laughs> he goes all out, showing off invisibility and duplicates, holograms. <clears throat> and sorry if I'm yawning, but it's like after 7 a.m. for me. I'm super tired. Loan out. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Dude, breathe. Holy shit, dude, half the screen is literally text. But if you look, I mean, that's like a really good money maker idea, right? Loan out magic. I guess people would pay a lot of money for that. Even if it's just temporarily. They didn't shove me to the ground, I shoved them to the ground. <laughs> oh, now he does this. Young Fujimiya. Yep. <laughs> He got it the wrong way. Of course he did. Oh, she can have actually a cute voice as a kid.
Yes, indeed. <laughs> indeed. Double indeed. Misunderstandings. Okay, the outro. Oh. So maybe it's not her brother? If she says he came to her rescue now? Who these? Okay, a friend. Sawa. <laughs> Nani? <laughs> uh... Eh, I mean, yeah, somewhat, maybe. <laughs> oh, is this all a misunderstanding again? <laughs> Look after Shiaki. Wasn't that the red hair guy? Take care of my brother at home. So is it her brother or not? I'm confused. Or is Shiaki someone else, not the red haired dude? I'm confused. I guess it's the dude with the red hair. I mean, yeah, that would have happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, hero, let's go. Do we see her? Do we get a glimpse? Okay. <clears throat> okay that was the episode let me know what you think but yeah the ending was a bit anticlimactic, right? <clears throat> you hear about the hero and all that stuff, and then it's the priest girl. I mean, it's not a priest girl. She's like a mage, I guess, not a priest. Um, But she looks like a priest. But I didn't expect her to be the hero, basically. That's a bit weird, I guess. But I mean... I guess you, it it is expected, right? Because um, this anime loves to divert expectations, right? <laughs> so here we have a hero that is not really a hero, like and that can't do much as a hero, right? Goblin Horde, too much for a hero. One big hedgehog, too much for a hero. So I guess it makes sense in that regard, right? Um, that it kind of like under delivers. Than what you might expect, maybe, right? Um, but 
yeah, otherwise, good episode again, right? I mean, very fun episode, lots of fun stuff going on here. And so, yeah. I, I didn't quite understood the ending with the friend of Fujimiya, Sawa. Was it what she meant with didn't she got more beautiful over the last six months or whatever? Was it supposed to mean that she might have a boyfriend or something like that? And the Takafumi is basically like, yeah, here, maybe you should introduce me to them because he wants to protect her, right? Is that what it leads to? The hint of that she might have a boyfriend or something and he wants to get introduced to see, to check out if they are like good or bad for her, right? To protect her, basically. I guess that's the drift from what it felt like to me, what it wants to deliver, but I'm not quite sure. And yeah, I mean, <clears throat> we didn't saw any marble this episode and only a little bit of the elf, right? The beginning, her face when she grabbed the necklace with her feet was really, her smile was really cute. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, obviously, obviously she wants to keep the hoodie, right? Because she's a tsundere, she loves Oji-san, even if she's not admitting it to him. <clears throat> and so she wants to keep it as like, a, a, yeah, just so that she has something from him, right? After he sold the ring, <laughs> she wants to keep the hoodie at least. Um, and sleeps with it all the time. And yeah, I guess as trade, he got the dress from her. Which she gave to Fujimiya, which looks good on her, I would say. But on the elf, it looks also very good. Um, and so, yeah. I mean, what else did we have here? I mean, very interesting the whole fact that he can transfer his magic to others, basically. That's very crazy. Like I said in the episode, I guess this could be like a really good method to make money, right? Even if it's just temporarily. I guess there will be people that are ready to pay a lot of money to just get some magic temporarily. But I mean, it also could lead to like a lot of dumb shit happening, right? Because people would just abuse it for the short amount they have it, right? And so, yeah, that sucks, I guess. And so it, it, it's not a v advice to do it, really. And then we had ha the whole goblin scene where it's like, yeah, gaming helped me in the, in the Isekai world. And then it turns out it didn't. <laughs> he just wants to find some way to say that gaming helped him, even if it didn't really help him. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Um, all his gaming talk all the time, and you can always expect like you you already know when something starts, you already know there will be a twist, right? And the twists are always, <laughs> they are always there and it's always pretty hilarious. Which is interesting because, I mean, this anime follows like a structure, right? Um, like I said, it's always like something is happening and then it diverts the expectation, right? You always know there will be a twist and it still hits every time. Every time it, I think it's very enjoyable and fun to watch and see. Um, while in other animes I feel like if something like this happens where it repeats the same stuff over and over again it's often it's kind of boring right I mean maybe not really maybe I'm just over exaggerating here right now because I mean all animes follow basically the same formula right like all isekai animes I mean, somewhat, like most isekai animes follow the same formula. Guy gets, or person gets into the isekai world, and it's OP as fuck, right? Gets a party, there's lots of people around them. If it's a male protagonist, then often he has a harem around him, right? Um, and is completely broken. And, or like isekai, uh, not isekai, oh my god. Shonens, like normal shonens. Um, you have your main character that always wins, basically. Sure, sometimes they lose because they need to grow. 
but then eventually they win again, right? You always know that they will prevail um, in the end. And so everything follows a formula, right? So I guess in that sense, it's not that Isik, uh, that Oji, Isikai Oji-san does this, this is following a structure formula and does it well. But I still think it's it does it well, right? Because there are still animes that follow a structure and that I don't enjoy. For example, for me personally, many people will hate me for it. Konosuba. Many people love Konosuba. I think it's just completely repetitive and boring. Because it's always the same jokes and the same stuff is basically happening all the time that Aqua and Darkness and Megumin are completely useless and fail and then Kazuya comes in and he also fails or sometimes he succeeds or in the end the all of them together succeed right when they one by one fail basically and it's always the same jokes that they pull the whole time at, le at least that's how it feels for me and for me it's just boring i watched season one and two and i watched the movie and i didn't really enjoy it that much <clears throat> um but yeah so yeah but i mean that's not what we are talking about right now and also like the hedgehog with sonic <laughs> that was quite fun right that immediately when he when he hears hedgehog he's like sonic even to the point where it's like hedgehogs on the in the real world are blue <laughs> he doesn't even know how normal hedgehogs look like and so yeah that was basically the episode again a fun episode enjoyable for me um super funny and interesting stuff and yeah the bummer is that isekai oji san is now again on delay we had a delay between episode from episode four for two weeks to episode five it was basically three weeks because it was four then one week passed nothing two weeks passed nothing and then the third week the next episode came out because of the c word <laughs> Um, that YouTube doesn't like and so yeah apparently they have it again <laughs> in the studio so yeah there's another break without any time frame when we can expect a new episode so maybe next episode will be another episode but I think if they say that there will be a delay then I guess at least next ep next week won't be an episode so maybe the week after that maybe or another three weeks wait i don't know we will see but yeah it's a bummer um but it is what it is so yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say thanks for watching until next time bye bye